Have you ever wondered which smartphone offers the best performance in today's market? The Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra or the Apple iPhone 16 Pro Max? With Samsung's latest flagship, the Galaxy S25 Ultra, pushing the boundaries of smartphone capabilities, the battle for supremacy in the high-end market has become more intense. In this comparison, we'll focus solely on performance, comparing the raw power these two devices bring using benchmark scores to guide us. When it comes to evaluating the performance of smartphones, Geekbench is one of the most reliable tools to provide a direct comparison of CPU and GPU capabilities. It eliminates the guesswork and presents raw numbers to measure each device's strength. Let's take a look at how the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra and iPhone 16 Pro Max fare when tested side by side. In single core performance, Apple has long been ahead and the iPhone 16 Pro Max continues this trend. Equipped with the A18 Pro chip, it scored an impressive 3457 in single core testing. This gives the iPhone a slight edge over the Galaxy S25 Ultra, which scored 3220 with its Snapdragon 8 Elite for Galaxy processor. This result shows that Apple's chips excel in tasks that rely on single core power, such as running apps and browsing. But when we switch to multi-core performance, the tables turn dramatically. The Galaxy S25 Ultra dominates in this area, achieving an outstanding score of 10,223, far surpassing the iPhone 16 Pro Max's score of 8553. This performance gap highlights the power of the Snapdragon 8 Elite for Galaxy processor when handling demanding multitasking and intensive tasks like gaming and video editing. The significant advantage Samsung holds in multi-core processing showcases its capability to juggle several tasks simultaneously, making it the clear choice for power users. It's interesting to note that both the A18 Pro and the Snapdragon 8 Elite for Galaxy processors are built using TSMC's advanced 3 nanometer process, specifically the second generation N3 E node. Despite sharing the same manufacturing technology, the Snapdragon chip's superior multi-core performance shows how Samsung has optimized its design for multi-threaded tasks, providing it with a clear edge in this area. One of the key factors behind the Galaxy S25 Ultra's performance is its CPU design. The Snapdragon 8 Elite for Galaxy features performance cores running at 4.47 GHz, slightly faster than the standard Snapdragon 8 Elite, which peaks at 4.32 GHz. This difference in clock speeds and core configurations plays a crucial role in boosting Samsung's performance in multi-core tests, especially when handling high-intensity applications. In terms of software, the two devices are quite different. The Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra runs Android 15 with Samsung's One UI 7, while the iPhone 16 Pro Max runs iOS 18.21. Both operating systems have their strengths. iOS is known for its simplicity and seamless integration, whereas One UI offers a more feature-packed, customizable experience, allowing users to personalize their device to their liking. Of course, while benchmarks are important, real-world performance often depends on factors such as software optimization, battery efficiency, and individual usage. If you prioritize quick app launches and smooth performance in single-core tasks, the iPhone 16 Pro Max might feel faster. But if you're a heavy user who relies on multitasking or enjoys resource-heavy applications like mobile games or video editing, Galaxy S25 Ultra's multi-core strength will likely offer a smoother experience. So, which of these two flagship smartphones stands out to you in terms of performance? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.